Mustang is turning 60 years old next year, and we thought it would be fun to put several generations together for a drag race. So, Dad, what have we brought here? Well, we brought two Mustangs that are 46 years apart, Tommy. Yes, we've got a 1968 Ford Mustang GT California Special taking on a 2014 Ford Mustang GT, and we have one more surprise Mustang coming in at the end. Now, I think there's no surprise about which of these two will be quicker, but the surprise is by how much quicker. Well, we're gonna find that out right now. This is a really special car. This is a 1968 Ford Mustang GTCS, which stands for California Special. Now, the California Special was an options package on top of the standard Mustang, and it was available on every engine available in 1968. Now, this car has the 289 two-barrel carburetor Challenger V8, it's what they called it back in 68, that makes a whopping 195 horsepower. It's mated to a C4 three-speed automatic. Now, along with these nifty hood pins, the California Special gave you graphics down the side and the rear end from the Shelby. How cool is that? So, this is a 2014 Mustang GT Old Man Special. And that's because we bought it from an old man. And unlike that car, this is actually a GT. I know that one says GT, but actually back in the day, you couldn't get the GT package on a 289. Nowadays, the V8 is actually the GT. And there it is, the Coyote 5 liter that produces 420 horsepower, mated to, well, it's an automatic transmission. But it's got about twice as much horsepower as that car and realistically, maybe more than that. All right, Dad, now some people are gonna say, what is the purpose of this? Clearly, the classic one is gonna lose, and to you I say, it's fun. The purpose is fun. Sure, it'd be cool to bring like a 428 or a 390 high-performance 68 out here, but let's be honest, both of these cars are set up pretty similar. They're both the cruiser spec staying. Both V8s, both automatics, neither with the performance package. Yeah, I mean, it's GT versus GT, V8 versus V8. Just 46 years separates them, so uh, which do you think is worth more, the 68 or the 2014? Well, I know how much we paid for both. We paid 22 and a half for that uh, 2014, and we paid 30 for the 1968. Yeah, so ironically, the older car is worth more um, because they didn't make that many California specials. I have to say, you know, I might lose this, but this car is running peachy. I've got a rebuilt 289 under my right foot. Um, I, have a, I have a good feeling, Dad, that it may be closer than you think, because this car weighs 2,966 pounds, 600 pounds less than your boat over there. Sure, go for it. Kind of style. Let's do this. All right, in. Three, two, one, go. Jump the start just a little bit. Come on, Mustang. Come on, I'm just going to say goodbye to him. Oh, yeah. So far, my rearview mirror. Three speed automatic, working hard. A little bit of whistling coming from the door seals. There's 65 miles an hour indicated. In the third gear, 75 miles an hour. Cross the line. I did better than I thought I might. All right, four wheel drum brakes. A little sketchy. Quarter mile, 14.66 uh, in 102 miles an hour. 102. Now, if you're at sea level, you can subtract about a second from that. I went 14.66 at 102. How about you? You know, not bad for over a mile above sea level, which just destroys the times on these NA cars. It's not bad for an auto, uh, auto coyote. No, I did a 19.54 at 73. So even with under 200 horsepower and 40 plus years of age, uh, I still beat 73 miles an hour in under 20 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. You know, um, those 289s were good engines. And I gotta say, it's also got a good exhaust note. Dare I say it better than this one when it's just idling. You know, we have proved what everybody thought that we would do, but let's surprise them with another interesting Mustang drag race. I like that idea, Dad, because I'm gonna bring in something a little bit unexpected. Should we check that out? Yeah, right, let's line up and let's see what you got. So, Tommy, I see a Mustang on the front of that car, but uh, I'm not sure it's a Mustang. It 
is a Mustang. This is the 2023 Ford Mustang Mach-E. So this is the electric Mustang crossover. Um, you know what? That is a crossover cross-dressing as a sports car. Okay, well hear me out. <laughs> this is why I think this is, idea is pretty cool, right? Okay. Because the original Mustang was essentially a small Ford economy car that they put a cool body on and gave it a lot of power. And that's what became the Mustang we know today. This is a, you know, a, a family hauling SUV that also happens to have a lot of power. So this is kind of like a modern interpretation of a Mustang. All right, well, roll back, let's line up. So here's the thing, Dad. I think we both know that if I had brought the Mach-E GT, I would have wiped the floor with you because up here at elevation, electric cars aren't impacted by the, uh, the thinner air, and it's just a much more powerful car. So instead, to make things interesting, I brought along a standard Mach-E. This is a premium spec with all-wheel drive, and I have 346 horsepower versus your 420. I kind of wish you had brought the Mach 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I wanted to bring the future, and electrification is looking more and more like the future, so that's what I brought. Now, I think you're going to be surprised. This car, even though it's the comfy spec, not the high performance one, I think it's still going to wipe the floor uh, with your, uh, your 2014 GT. Are you feeling ready to lose? I'm feeling, you know what, here's my prediction. You'll take me off the line, but I'll start to catch up to you. All right, so I'm not in, I'm bridled, but I am in sport mode. Let's do this. Okay, count us down. In. Three. Two. One. Oh, it's close. He's getting ahead of me, but wait till we go a little faster. Come on. Right about 35, 40 is when all the power comes in. And I'm losing them, but it's actually super close. Oh, it's going to be close. And I'm now catching up to him. <laughs> Fourteen sixty-five. Fourteen sixty-five at one hundred and two. And that was so unbelievably close. Yeah, I ran a fourteen sixty-five at one hundred and two. Come on, did you really? Yeah, I did. How about you? I ran a fourteen sixty-nine at ninety-nine point eight. So these cars, the, the 2014 5.0 GT and the extended range all-wheel drive Mach-E are about as close as you can possibly get in a drag race, at least up here at a mile above sea level on this unprepped surface. Gotta put that asterisk, but that is so close. Actually, I think there's a caveat there in the first drag race. I think we need to do another one and see what happens with that uh, car of yours. See if it can maintain those uh, speeds. So let's go again. As you know, Tommy, um, the Mach-E has a little bit of a reputation of berating itself after a couple of hard acceler accelerations. So my cutting plan is to see if I can get that thing to berate itself. Yeah, but look, gasoline engines heat soak as well. So, it, you know, you're not immune either. So we just went from one right into another. I'll count us down and we'll give another another go. Are you good with that? I'm great with it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Full throttle. Even launch between the Mach-E and the Mustang GT. This thing's got a really good push of acceleration from like 30 to 50. Come on, GT! Go for it! Oh. There's 90 miles an hour indicated. I'm not losing him at all. There's 100. He comes back toward the end. Yeah, but your theory didn't work out so well. It actually went faster that time. I went 1465 at 102 again. What'd you do? I did a 1433 at 100. Alright, let's try... Let's try rolling drag race. Right? Your heat soak theory didn't play out as you had hoped, I think. Alright, let me, uh, I'm gonna shift manually. I'm, I'm gonna have people talk to you, because now I gotta shift manually. Starting up to 30. Alright, I got 30 there in 3, 2, 1, go! Full throttle! Oh, I'm still beating them from 30. This thing is fast as heck. But there's 90. Oh, he's catching up. Come on, car. He's catching up in a big way. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. I'm 
taking them! <laughs> that was the photo finish, my man. Yeah, that's impressive. Do you want to do a brake test from 60? Nah, I don't care about a brake test. Well, I mean, what about all those crowds leaving cars and coffee? Then you gotta know which one to jump in front of um, in the event of a, of a Mustang fail. All right, let's do it for the crowds and cars and coffee so you know which one has a better stopping distance. It looks kind of interesting because yours is so much heavier that uh, that should hurt your braking. <laughs> They're the same. Yeah, they are the same. Remarkably close. All right, well, there's a difference of about a foot between them. The, the Mach-E won by just a little bit, but this red car, 118, the Mustang about 117. So um, the old uh, California Special has uh, drum brakes all around. <laughs> yeah. What do you think that'd be like? You want me to go see? No, I, I, pretty we, terrible. We, we've already broken the windshield on this on this crappy surface. Let's not break the California Special. So, Tommy, how much is that Mach E? Well, the sticker price is sixty-eight, but there are some pretty big discounts on Mach E's right now. So, you could get both the S one nine seven, the twenty fourteen, and the California Special for the price of that, and you'll still have ten k left over for insurance. Yes, but um, that has all-wheel drive and clean electric power and the front trunk yeah but it's got the least amount of mustang dna <laughs> you know i mean these are the two mustangs in my mind that it's a brave new world well let us know what you guys think in the comment section below dad thank you for playing along with me today as always it's been tommy and roman saying thanks for watching and tommy you just got to drive the new mustang right yeah the new 2024 ford mustang with the v8 and the manual so you're going to want to check out those videos over at alltfl.com all right so which one do you want to drive home uh the 68 <laughs> pretty, i'll fight you for it pretty easy choice <laughs> see you guys next time ciao